Brian, back to you. All right, Caroline, thank you very much. One of the first things President Obama did when he took office in January was order the prison at Guantanamo Bay closed. Now, nearly nine months after that order was issued, the prison remains open, and my next guest says the president lacks the plan to close it. Congressman Pete Hoekstra is the top Republican on the House Select Intelligence Committee, and he joins us live from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Congressman, good to have you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Brian. W what is going on these days with, with Guantanamo? I mean, we, we kept saying we were going to close it. The president uh, doesn't really seem to have a plan to do that. Uh, the president never had a plan. He shot from the hip on January 22 when he announced it was going to be closed within the year. Uh, he should have realized at that point in time that President Bush had wanted to close Guantanamo. There are lots of complicating factors, the biggest of which, it's just a bad idea. We ought to leave those folks in Guantanamo. Why move the risk? from Guantanamo to the continental United States and at the same time lose the opportunity to use the individuals that are at Gitmo to get further intelligence as we continue this war against radical jihadists. Well, is there any chance you, you, in your mind that the president might uh, reverse his course of action on this and saying, you know, I've looked at this, this is a very tough issue, uh, it's not as easy to fix as I thought it was, there are complications about where we might bring these people inside the United States. Is there any chance he might reverse course? Uh, I sure hope so. I mean, the one thing we do know, he's going to miss the deadline. There's no way that I believe that he will close it in the next three months. The president ought to step back. And more importantly, Brian, there are other things that the president ought to be focused on. He shouldn't be spending one moment thinking about closing Guantanamo uh, or closing Gitmo. You know, it's working fine. It's providing high quality care and it's providing a safe environment for these people to be in. The president has more important issues to be working on. You know, he really ought to finalize a strategy for Afghanistan. Yes, sir. I think. Go ahead. Oh, I, I said what the president needs to do. He's got more important things to do. He ought to be finalizing right. a strategy for Afghanistan. Well, and, and Don't I, be diverted by these side issues. Let me ask you about that particular point. In Afghanistan, uh, there has been some criticism against this administration that there's some dithering going on while our troops are in a, in a, in a risky situation. Your thoughts? Well, that's exactly right. I mean, the president came out. He came out in March. He identified a very clear and precise strategy that this was going to be counterinsurgency. Now, eight, you know, six, seven months later, he's saying, well, I've got to go back and reconsider. This election has thrown things into kind of disarray. You know, we knew that we know that there's corruption in Afghanistan. That is not a surprise. We know that we knew that this election, there was going to be an element of corruption in it. That is not that is not a surprise to us. We know that Al Qaeda and the Taliban, that they are getting stronger as we move forward. There's no real new information. The president now, if he's got second thoughts on what he wants to do in Afghanistan, let him say so, then identify a strategy. He either needs to move forward with General McChrystal's plan, or I think the, the only other alternative that the president has is he's just going to say, you know, it's not worth fighting and we're going to pull out. We can't have our troops be in this kind of no man's land where they don't have the resources necessary to get the job done and the president's not committing to doing that. We right. can't have our troops in a place where we've given them half the resources to do the job. If we're not going to give them the resources to do the job, not give them the mission, then let's pull them out. Congressman Pete Hoekstra, we appreciate you joining us today. Hey, always good to be with you. Thanks, Brian.